Hey guys, I'm Nicole and I'm here with the fabulous Kim Nonstop. Check her out. Today we're going to talk about, you know, how people always want to lose weight and the diets. We want to actually talk about all the myths and kind of debunk all those myths. So the first one we're going to talk about, you guys have probably heard this before, if you lift weights, if you lift heavy, you're going to bulk up and you're going to look like a man. Yeah, you're going to look like a big bulky juice head. Well, science shows that lifting weights, it burns more calories. The heavier you lift, the more calories you burn, you're gonna get more shredded from that. That's just end, stop. You're not gonna bulk up and look like a man unless you're supplementing steroids. with steroids. Yeah. And then your, your vagina like grows. Yeah. That's gross. So maybe watch out for that. But yeah, I wouldn't do that, but you know, like I wanna gain like 10 pounds of muscle, so I'm gonna lift heavy, but you know, I'm not gonna look like a dude. Which takes ever. us to our next myth. When the number creeps up on the scale, you're getting fat. Is that true? Totally not true. Totally if not. If you're true. trying to lose weight and you're working out and you're getting muscle, yeah, your your weight's gonna go up a little bit more. But it's because muscle's heavier than fat. So hi. Ding, ding, ding. One way that Nicole keeps track, you've said, is like jeans, keep or like a favorite pair of jeans or something yes. that doesn't stretch, or one dress, yes. or something that and fits. See how it fits you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then put that on once a week, yeah. and just be like, is it tighter, is it looser? And that's a much better way to gauge mm -hmm. than the scale. I, I don't like going on the scale. When people go on the scale, like they're obsessed with the scale, so like, oh my God, I need to lose weight, and they don't lose weight, and they get depressed, and the scale's no good. Messes with your head. Yes. Throw away your scale. Screw the scale. And our next one is lifting light weights, high reps, gets you shredded and cut and toned. Not true. Mm -hmm. I do push-ups, you do burpees. Yep. We both do like in high intensity workouts with our upper bodies. Yep. I know I've seen you in the gym, you lift weights. Definition is purely based off of body fat, right? Mm -hmm. So more body fat in your body, less right. definition. Right. Less body fat. Then you're gonna see more. More definition. Yep. And I'm talking about body definition. We're coming to our next myth that crunches give you six pack abs. No, and if it were true, I would do crunches every single day. Like <laughs> Me this, too. This bitch has got like a nine pack. I can't. I'm not even showing you I have. Like I just had a baby. She just had a baby. Let's be <laughs> like, there's, there's a little bit of a, a no. rehabilitation process. Yeah, but still. However, you're rehabbing your abs, and what are you doing to get your definition back? Basically, your abs are made in the kitchen. Your whole body is made in the kitchen. So you could work out, you could go crazy, but if you have a bad diet, you're gonna look like shit. So you have to eat, you have to put in the work with your diet, so then you know you, your whole body looks good, especially when you work out. So even if you don't work out and you wanna lose weight and you eat shitty, you're gonna lose like 10 to 15 pounds just getting on a good diet. Mm -hmm. And then you start working out, you gain that muscle and you're gonna feel awesome. Preach, she's right, mm -hmm. it's true. So we have one more myth for you, myth number five. The more you sweat, the more you burn. Yep. You know, you could sweat buckets doing uh, very little. Yep. And it doesn't mean you're burning more. It might feel good because you're like, oh, I'm sweating, I must be doing something good, but not always. Yeah. Sweat is not an indicator of how much you burn. It's an indicator of how hot you were. Truly, you need to pay more attention to heart rate, intensity level, how long does it take you to recover to do the next set. Yep. Those are all indicators of intensity. Yep. Sweat is not an indicator of intensity. And make sure you stay hydrated, especially when you're working out. If I don't drink while I'm working out, I feel lightheaded and I'm gonna pass out. Which is another reason you should throw the mm. scale away, because if you lose buckets of water and you get on the scale, you're like, I, I'm lighter, but yeah. it's just water. But then you have a bottle of water and you're like, shit, I gained two pounds. It's water, it doesn't matter. We killed it with all those myths. Bam! So I hope you guys learned something today. Make sure you go to the gym, you stay hydrated, you do what we told you to do, and all those myths, you know, they're bullshit. And if you need more workouts, check out my channel on Kim Nonstop. Yes. I've got a ton of workouts for you guys over there. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Mwah! Stay cool. Are you trying to kill people? <laughs>